Good morning, crafty friends. Today I'm sharing a Christmas card made with a whole bunch of older product in my stash and a pop-up die set by Karen Berniston. So this is a larger than A2 card. It is a, one of the larger card and envelope sets from Michaels and folded. The card is five inches by six and a half inches. I really like the size of this and I've got several packages of these cards in my stash that I've had for many years. Uh, the pattern paper is an older pattern paper set called I Believe from My Mind's Eye and it's beautifully glittered and I'm really working on using up this paper pad um, this year. My, that's my goal is to get it used up this year. I used Karen Berniston's crosshatch circles here for the front and some 3D stickers from my stash. They are by Kay and Company and there was a partial sheet in my stash when I was rooting through to find something else and I thought, oh, I can get that used up on this card and I did. The pretty little uh, pierced label here is from the Paper Frames pop-up, which is what I used inside the card. And Sending Holiday Cheer is Tailored Expressions, one of their mini strips. And then I had a strip of cardstock that I used the Stampin' Up! banners pick a punch to fishtail the ends and there's the pop-up inside there's lots of dimensions this is the paper frames pop-up it looks complicated there's lots of wow in this one but it's very easy to assemble it's a series of mountain and valley folds the die does all the die cutting and the scoring for you. And Karen Berniston has assembly videos right on the product page at karenberniston.com and here on YouTube. So if you go to karenberniston.com, click on the paper frames pop up, you'll see the assembly video. So I don't need to do a tutorial because it's already there and the rest is simply paper choice and embellishments. And the versatility of the dies are you get to choose the card size, you get to choose where on the fold you put the card, and of course you get to choose your theme and how you want to decorate it. The Paper Frames pop-up is a very generic die and it's actually a remake of, of an older die set called the Anita Frames pop-up. But that die set is long retired and it cut into an inner card and then you also required a backing card on top whereas this one glues right inside your card. So I added panels of glittery patterned paper here but you could adhere it right inside a card base as well. I die cut it again just this section because I wanted the white frames hidden and then I trimmed away the outside portion and adhered the brown um, glittery piece to it and all the little labels uh, come included in the die set. There is some paper strips here just to break up the diagonal line and a few more of the 3D stickers that also have glitter on them and the Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. This is one of my favorite stamp sets. I've had it for a couple of years. It's by Lawn Fawn and I just added it to a stitch circle and then, I don't know, I needed something in this corner so I added one more foam snowflake. My stamp from Riley and Company on the back. And you can see how nice and flat this folds for mailing, but there's so much dimension when you open it. There's a card like this you get lots of wow from. If you enjoyed my video today, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to see more of my cards. And that's it for me today.